Yeah. Hi everybody. So, um, someone else on Reddit, again, <laughs> asked me how I do stuff. This time they asked um, how I watch ice hockey. Because um, I'm, I'm a really big fan and uh, it's, it's sort of not a thing that most people expect someone with bad eyesight to be a fan of. And for those of you who have never seen my videos before or seen my posts before, um, I was born with congenital cataracts and uh, when I was pregnant with my daughter I got like a secondary cataract in this eye so now in this eye I just see grayness and nothing else um, but this eye I see between 2 and 4 percent of 2020 normal vision it's not gray um, or blurry it's just very 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 nearsighted um, and I'm actually gonna have surgery in uh, two weeks and I'm gonna get an IOL in this eye so hopefully I'll at least be able to get my normal, my normal vision back. But so anyway, I decided to make this video to show you guys how I watch NHL. So in Finland, the main legal way to watch NHL is with Via Play or Via Sat if you have cable. But I have Via Play, which is like Netflix. So I click on sports and I wait for that to load. And then I go to today's schedule and because it's only about 9.30 here in Finland, um, there's no NHL on yet, and there won't be any NHL on until about 2 this morning. Um, so, but I can already click on the game, so I can already click on Philadelphia Dallas, and that brings me to the game page. And, um, and through there I can go to NHL Game Center, and then whenever that loads, um, I can go back in time, um, basically through the whole season. I'm gonna go to Saturday, the 17th. And there it shows me all the scores from Saturday the 17th, and I can see that the Red Wings played against Montreal and they lost 4-1, which is sad. So I can click on that, and I'm going to make this full screen. And then because the Red Wings played um, in Montreal, by default, it is trying to show me Hockey Night in Canada. And normally I would watch Hockey Night in Canada when I lived in the States. Um, it was my Saturday night ritual to have some pizza and some wings and watch Hockey Night in Canada on an HL, um was it Game Center then? I don't know. Whatever the whatever DirecTV has. Center Ice, yeah. Center Ice. But because it's the Red Wings, I'm going to switch to Fox Sports Detroit. So, I've got Fox Sports Detroit. I've got Ken and Mickey, who are my favorite announcers in the NHL. And it might have something to do with the fact that I'm a Red Wings fan. So, now, to watch the game, I basically would just go like this. So, I'm going to skip ahead a bit to when there was some shots on goal and some saves and at the bottom here you have different X's that represent different things and the red X's are goals so when I want to watch a game I do this and then I'll skip ahead to Dylan Larkin he had a goal so I'll skip ahead to that And I can't actually see the puck. <laughs> so that <laughs> that happened. And I couldn't actually see the puck. I can sort of just follow the player movement. Um, and then coming up here, they should have uh, a replay. Yeah, so they should have this replay here. And then, then I can somewhat follow where the puck is. Because um, it's a bit more slowed down. It, it's, it's zoomed in a bit. Um, so then I actually get a chance to sort of see and follow it. But for the rest of the game, um, for the rest of the time, you know, I, I sort of just sit here like this with my face against the screen waiting. Um, my neck starts to hurt and sometimes I get headaches and I have to kind of, during intermissions and, and TV timeouts, I have to get up and walk around, have some water, sometimes I need to, I need to take some headache medicine. Um, but I would say it's worth it. I mean, I really love this game. It was there for me. <laughs> As silly as that sounds, um, it's sort of always been a comfort. So it's 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 worth it. It's 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 worth it to to stay and, and to watch. Um, and and also, you know, because of my eyesight, I really value good announcers and good play-by-play -play people. Um, my my two favorites would have to be uh, Ken and, and Mickey on Fox Sports Detroit, and then also um, Hockey Night in Canada because like and TSN too, as well because it's 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 like. They're, they're good, and it's, it's, it's just quality. I don't know how to... I'm stuttering because I don't even know how else to explain it. It's, it's just good. You know, there are certain teams whose play-by-play -play is just bad. And I won't say who, but 
you know, there are certain teams where I'd rather just not watch the game than, than have to listen to them <laughs> for, the, for the duration of it. Um, uh, so, if any of you ever wonder, you know, man, you know, why, why is this person so bad or whatever, you know, that I, 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 I can't stand them. Well, just imagine how it is for someone who depends on them. <laughs> so yeah, this is, this is how I watch, this is how I watch ice hockey and, um, hopefully, you know, it gives, it gives some of you a, a better, uh, insight into how people with visual impairments, you know, follow the game and, and, and try their best to keep up on things and, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it informative, and thanks for watching.